Over here in the upper left, the best PVTer in the world. He is. AOG, I am first. He's won a GSL Code S before. Can he do it a second time? And will it begin here today? He is. My insanity, Chakji. I really am liking Jack G's play today, man. I, I've always been a since that GSL Finals where he just looked like the best what? Terran. Which, which we had GSL seen. Finals uh, number was that for oh, Kodas? Is that like keeping track of numbers is so hard. one we did, right? No, it was it was definitely later than that. I would say. Was it? Yeah, it was like went like Fruit Dealer, Nesty. Oh, I went like uh, Kodas. That was when we oh, had just the big GSL um, bracket. Like 64 oh person. Now that was the Pult victory, that one. Jokchi was a bit oh, later than that. Oh, yeah. Jokchi was like, uh, let's see. He was after the Blizzard Cup. I think he might have been the first one of last year. Something like that. Mm, it's hard to remember. I don't know. I don't know why I ask you these really hard questions. No, it's, 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 <laughs> it's pretty unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, we got the probe now coming down here to try to scout the Terran. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so far, Protoss, it, everything looks normal. He's probably going to get the core. He might go get a quick Nexus up after that. So, talk to me, Artosis. Well, uh, this is... I'm, I'm just having a great day, Tasteless. There's, like, just so much good StarCraft right now, and... There he is. The, this With group Kodas I'm really back, excited about. Kicks so much ass, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, and this season is so fantastic. Yeah. And I'm really excited to see who gets out of this group. Like it could be, it could be any two of these players. Iva can make those upsets first as the PVT that can lose or win against he actually Terran. Just hit that inside the main. He certainly did. I think it's for a second scout, not a pylon, though. I want it to be a pylon. That would be so cool. That would be pretty neat. Four gate in the main. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that. This is where the the the, uh, the meta game goes full circle, where people stop checking in the main for yeah. that first probe. So suddenly now this is a viable strat because <laughs> players are getting greedy and actually just making uh, just they wanted the minerals so bad they don't check. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, especially when you have those two reapers, you're like, well, he's hiding it somewhere really obscure, but he's hiding it almost in plain sight, which is sometimes the best place to hide something. Yeah. The funny hiding spots that you see evolve over time in the metagame is just, it's hilarious. <laughs> well, uh, we're getting on the way, and I love first build here. This is a great build to copy, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's very smart to... Oh, still there. If you can get the Nexus up before anything, and then go for Mothership Core, and then your second gas, that's basically the best opening that you can, the best safe opening that you can open with against Terran. And if you guys are wondering, um, you know, then why would you get the gateway in the corp uh, to begin with? Is It's a fail safe if they try anything funny. Yeah. You still hold it off. Yeah, you basically hold off everything. Maybe double 11 racks can kill you or something, but anything else you're going to hold. Like 100% if you're good at it. Uh, now, that probe got an insane scout off it, but you know, this two reaper opening that we were talking about before, Tasteless. Reaper's always going to get to see what's going on. And he sees that quick robo in the main base, so that's going to alleviate a lot of the fears Jack G would have. It's not like anything proxied right now with the robo at that time. Yeah, it's all looking uh, it's all looking great so far for him. Uh, we got the Twilight Council Ooh. coming up here, and that's actually uh, kind of surprising because he's already getting a robo. Yeah. Um, do you think there's a possibility he's going to go for Blink, or do you think he's going to go for DTs? This is really hard to say. This The timing of it isn't exactly a DT drop, but with the double Reaper opening, you don't want it to be exactly timed out for the perfect DT drop build, because then they'll see it. Yeah. So, I just, I'm not sure. He is making a lot of stalkers, but you would do that anyways defensively. The one thing I do have to say, though, is that Jokchi is really smart. He's making Hellions. And when your opponent stays on one gate for a long time, like he is, the Hellions are going to do a billion times well, better just, than... Well, there's not enough units um, yeah. there to defend the Hellions. The probes don't have enough places to hide. And look at this. Look at that. It's in there. Nice forces this. out the Nexus Cannon. Oh, God. That's this exactly is... what you want to do. I'm almost surprised that First even did the Nexus Cannon as quick as mm. he did. <laughs> Since you know the Terran is actually going to leave. Uh. At least, I, I don't know, let him get a little bit closer in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess he didn't want to lose any probes. He's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to have a lot of Stalkers soon. I'm fine. But uh, how many Stalkers does he have right now? He has three. So these Hellions could do a lot of damage, like, right now. 
but these other two gates are about to finish. And as those two gates finish, the more stalkers you get, he gets a couple more stalkers in here, he's going to hold it without too much problem. All right. The observer's at her to spot over that fountain thing, <laughs> whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but... It's a Psy fountain. It's a Psy fountain, thank you. Obviously, tasteless. Okay, he's edging up here. And the kiting begins here, but the Hellions now going to go straight for the workers. Meanwhile, the Marines dealing that damage out there. Uh, probe spreading, but i got to say, not as many probes killed as I thought. And yeah, now, he's, he's focusing he? really heavily on these stalkers. He's actually going to kill a lot. I think he's figured out that this is a blink build at this point, and he decided that, well, you know, I could kill a good amount of uh, probes, but he'll have so many stalkers, you might be able to kill me. So I... I kind of yeah. see, I think that's what his, his thought process well, was there. Well, it's just funny now because now he's going for the probes after that. Mm -hmm. And he actually okay. got eight. All that's, right, nicely done. That's uh, pretty the nice. The blink is done, so the stalkers will probably move out mm -hmm. now and okay. see what damage they can't pull off. Now, he does have an observer, so he can do things like try to blink into the main. Yeah, yeah. And, and do damage there. This is scary. This is really scary. There's only three marauders on the map, one of which is getting chased down and will die here. And you know what? He's making some Widow Mines. He's making as many Marauders as he can at a time. Two as well as two Marines. But this is a very, very scary counter push. All right. Uh, he's coming down here now. Now, that's perfect placement of that bunker. I, I know we had a good placement there of that one, but the one in the main here, he needs to get that, like, now, 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 now. Oh, but there's a Widow Mine as he well. If he could scan and kill the Observer, that would be huge. That would be... The, ah, and that's... Whoa, this was, like, really bad. Well, you know what? This is, uh, he is going to hold is, this, and that's not going not gonna to be was, too much that of That was issue. kind of a disaster there. Jokji is so on top of his game today, man. Well, I also, like, I'm, really. su I'm surprised he blinked in there when he saw the Widow Mine and the bunker was done. Well, I think he, yeah, he was trying I mean, to get in there and do his damage beforehand, but... Well, also, like, you just uh. have to know how many shots it takes to kill the Widow Mine. To just know if you can get it ahead of time. Mm. You know what I mean? Well... Like, they yeah. all shot the Widow Mine, and he's, the Widow Mine's like, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> It was exactly That's like how that. Widow Minds talk. Yeah, and you know what, Jack, I really have to say, I'm, I said it just a moment ago, but I really am loving his play today, Taste. It's like the targeting down to a few stalkers. What if there were four more stalkers with that group? That could have been so much more powerful. Yeah, he would have killed more probes, but then it would have been a little bit harder to hold, whereas right now he's completely held. He's forcing first to tech a little bit differently. He's going into charge as well as Immortals, which is fine, and it should be able to hold better than last game, uh, I think, against the initial push. Like, I don't think he's going to lose a Nexus this time. Well, he's making but, a lot of gate sartosis. This is yeah. not going to go into late game. This is... Uh Mm. This is good. The Protoss guys is going to try to end this right away. Yeah, he wants to crush whatever Jokchi comes out with and then possibly do a counter push that is deadly. But I think third base for the Protoss is very unlikely, even if he holds the attack here from Jokchi. Mm. It's, it's going to have to go just the right way if that's what we're going to see. Run! Nice little pick off. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Your so, voices are so good. Thank you, thank you. All right, he scans and sees the main is naked right now. He might pick up and try to go in there. And here come the, a couple more medevacs. When you start getting up to this medevac count, it gets pretty hard to hold, and this is why he's making so many immortals. Anytime you go tech-heavy as Protoss, well, you want to have a lot of immortals. Immortals don't need to be babysat, actually. Like, yeah, not very much at all. Like a or you just put it in a good position, you should be fine. Attacking into the front here. Uh, next cannon going down. Uh, uh, some missed force fields there. Yeah, not the uh, best. Uh, blinks underneath these medevacs here. Does pick one off, and he's doing an okay hold so far. Those Immortals Again. really the backbone. Uh, out of all those force fields, so many of those were not positioned right. Yeah, they weren't quite perfect, which uh, you kind of expect at this point that he hits those exactly where he needs them. But Considering everything's hinged on deflecting this attack, are we going to have a second blink? You know, this defense he's doing, though, like, just... You know, I think part of it is definitely the map, because it's harder to, to hold on the previous map uh, against multi-pronged... Uh, Terran aggression, but that was kind of more like the hold that I was kind of expecting to see in yeah. the last game with this this well, type of style of it units. It looks like he actually does want to get a third base. Occasionally, they, we just see Protoss just put a pylon and a probe over there and then not make a nexus and just do the two base all in because it, it just is enough misinformation for the Terran mm -hmm. to uh, for the Terran to have its guard down. Well, uh, it, yeah, you know, with Terran still on two base as well. It's not like he can just go over and kill Jokji right now. He just doesn't have any splash damage to deal with it. In fact, we have ghosts on the way already for Jokji, which is really well done. Okay. Uh, 
He cannot take the second base, but he can during this attack use that warp prism to warp in a lot of zealots over here into the. Is he just gonna? Okay, he's actually gonna do it. And he's gonna send them down into the main here, and Taryn is far enough away. And by the way, with the SCVs being pulled here, perfect. I, I like I, it. Honestly, I would almost be okay with him just going up his ramp. Yeah, I, yeah. and actually just sacking the second. You know, yeah. That you know what? I I think that's actually is, an okay thing to do here. If you can, especially if you can get the SCVs, but this is like, how do you hold this? Zero splash aside from a couple Archons. He's going to have to utilize his force fields perfectly. This is like, put those, oh man. And the, the are factories gonna, out here to, to, to bait out Stalker fire. Yeah, this is so hard to engage. Oh my god, look at this, the EMPs. The EMPs going off, hitting two of the Immortals and getting the sentries. All right, he's staying back though. Uh, there are those two Templars over there. He's trying to hang on right now. Terran has too much. Immortal's not really able to do the damage. Some of them bumping around in the back. Uh, and the mule comes down. Jockey saying, get out. This yeah. game is mine. Beautiful play here by Jack Chief. Perfect attacks and defense. Storm just now finishes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. The moment GG was punched in is that that's when Storm actually mm -hmm. finished. Jack G really knows what he's doing, Tasteless. Fantastic play here today. He's got a yeah. good shot at getting out of this he's, group. He certainly does. Beating somebody like first, this guy's a legend of Protoss versus Terran right now. Yeah, he's he, the guy is god mode a lot of the time, but again, he goes for some of these more wonky builds. Did yep. I not say before we started, he does things like these weird blink builds, and then he doesn't get into his late game. Yeah. So yeah. that makes it a lot harder on him. Uh, I just I wish I could control first strategy selection. Just write down his strats on the napkin hand to him before every match, man. I feel like he'd do a lot better. <laughs> this is the Artosis fantasy. Yeah. Like first, these yeah, are the, the other you are not is, doing any DT builds the other or any is, blink builds today. You are You write his strats for him down on a napkin hand to him and the other the other fantasy you have is that Flash writes his phone number for you down on a napkin <laughs> and gives it to you. Exactly. And then I dial it and it's not Flash at all. It's like a lesser Terrence yeah. like Young's phone number. I'm like, oh, oh I got played. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Jokji looks really good. Yes, that's he does. the Jokji that we, um, the same Jokji yeah. we casted. My insanity doing he, so well with Stardust and Jokji yeah, now. Oh my god, looking really uh. good. First, not out. Of, first, is, excuse me, not out of this uh, yet. We got to go on to the next match though, and see how this whole thing is going to progress. So we're going to take a short little break. When we come back, we're going to go on to our second best of three here in today's GSL Codes.